Hi, this is Laura from LifeVisions.com, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about finances and where you may make money in your astrological chart. Um, you also want to look at your second house of money. You want to look at your rising sign, right? Um, usually the second, you know, I have, I actually in my chart have the same second house uh, sign as my rising not everyone has that. So I'm going to tell you to go to astro.com, A-S-T-R-O.com, and look at the house rulerships and what sign rules your houses, right? In a professional reading, you were going to look at your second house, your sixth house, your tenth house, and look at the rulerships to those houses and find out where the depositors are. So if Mercury is your ruler to your second house, you want to look at where Mercury is in your chart, right? So if it's like Virgo, Virgo rules your second house or Gemini, you want to look to see where Mercury is placed, right? For more information. This video, I'm going to make it simple because I know it can get really complicated. So if you want a professional reading, you can order one on my website, or a career reading. But for the most part of keeping this simple, okay, we're going to look at the second house of money. And we're going to also talk a little bit about planets that you may have in the house as well. Okay. So, and I'm going to try to keep it really, really simple. And we're also going to look at, talk a little bit about Venus here in the chart as well. All right. So if you have, um, and let me get my banners. Here we go. Okay. Let me do this. Okay. All right, so we'll I'll just leave it like this. Okay, so if you have your second house is ruled by Aries, your second house of money is ruled by Aries. Fields would be uh, army, police, surgeon, entrepreneur, seamstress, military, firefighting, industrialists, athletes, factories, beauticians, uh, anything that deals with cutting and knives, right? And... Um, Aries can also be the physical body, the self. So like a fitness trainer or something like that, that can also be Aries in the second house. Okay. All right. Now this also applies if you have Mars, Mars in that second house of money. Mars is a, also a planet of uh, physicality, you know, doing, taking action, being very physical at work could be that too. And entrepreneurial too. Anyway, let's go to Taurus. Taurus. If your second house of money is ruled by Taurus, uh, fields of work would be maybe luxury uh, field, luxury things, things of luxury. Okay, so jewelry, cosmetics, you know, people on YouTube who do the uh, fashion videos on, on hauls and the things they try on, right? And this can also be um, cosmetics. You're showing your face, right? You're showing how you do makeup, right? Uh, music. Um, Actors, banking, tailors, fashion, property, film, entrepreneur, and sometimes computer programmers can be seen with this too. You know, I didn't add this in, but I should have a chef, a cooking show, right? That's very Taurus, you know, Taurian. Because the senses are heightened. Anything where your taste, touch, smell, all of these things are heightened and visual, like anything visual because, um, you know, Taurus appreciate soft things, visually appealing things, things that taste a certain way, they feel a certain way, smell a certain way. All of these things are heightened with Taurus, right? So, and banking is also a thing because Taurus nat is the natural ruler for the second house of money. So this could be a field in somehow, some way, banking. All right. So let's go to Gemini. Gemini you can have, if your second house is ruled by Gemini, you may have a job in media, journalism, account, uh, you can be an accountant, a representative, you can be an account representative, period, uh, a translator, a writer. Um, you can also do things with vehicles like short distance travel trips, right? Um, you may also do something with your hands, you know, like, uh, let's say you're a mechanic or something and you're doing something with your hands, right? Um, fixing things is very much the hands, Gemini. Um, so yes. And also communicating. And I think, you know, in a way 
people who do tarot, I wonder if they have, uh, you know, in one of their houses, like 10, 6, or 2nd, something to do with Gemini because it has a lot to do with the hands, okay? Beauticians may also have uh, Mercury here or, um, you know, ruled by Gemini as well, okay? All right, let's go. And I know I said for Aries, uh, could be a beautician as well because that's cutting and knives is Aries, it, it, you know? But Gemini too because it has to do with your hands, all right, so anyway, cancer, cancer fields that you may be doing if the sign of cancer is ruling your second house. Um, this would be anything to do with naval, marine, fishing, nursing, interior design, food, petroleum, historians, children, taking care of others. Cancer is big time a nurturer, taking care of other people. And it can also... Jobs that require um, maybe we're heightened intuition, heightened sense of intuition. It could be a psychic house, too, um, because the intuition is definitely heightened uh, with cancer. Anyway, um, what else? I if I forgot anything. Nope. Nurturing others, taking care of others, feeding others is a thing. Even a housewife, you know, or nanny, like being a nanny, uh, Staying home, maybe you work, you know, your job is staying home and you make money through your spouse. You know, that could be too. But, you know, what you're doing is nurturing others. A nanny can be seen as this as well. Okay. A nurse. Right. W working in dealing with nursing care, or nursing home, um, something like that. Anyway, let's keep going. Leo, if your second house is ruled by Leo. If your second house of money is ruled by Leo, you could have definitely a government job. You could have work in politics. Um, you may have uh, maybe, let me see what else. I don't like what I wrote for some of these. I did this. I made a chart. I wrote it a long time ago. Um, you could be an authority through your job, right? Maybe you're dealing with uh, leaders, uh, directors, right? Government employment, Okay. A uh, doctor can be seen by Leo, right? Jeweler also. Anything, a uh, Leo can also be an actor, somebody who's in the public eye. Somebody could be famous, right? But uh, Leo can be an authority and because it's ruled by the sun. It can be an authority on whatever it is you're doing, right? So either you're working for the government or maybe you're an authority on something. That's why politics is looked, is looked at here as well, right? Uh, sometimes religion can be seen here too because you're acting as an authority, authority of God, right? Um, investing can be seen here too, okay, with Leo. All right. And what else? Creativity. I forgot to mention, you know, Leo also rules children, okay, because it rules the fifth house, right? So anything to do with children, a creative project, like making money through your creativity, you know, so I want to say some of you could be making money. Uh, I want to say, let's say that you're working for the, you know, the public school system in whatever state you live in, right? Leo is government and the fifth house. I mean, it's the second house, but it relates back. So you could say taking care of ch children through the government, right? Uh, something like that could be seen here as well. Right. You have to look for the ruler of the sun and see what house it's in for more information. OK. All right. Um, the next one, if your second house is Virgo. Um, OK, so you may make money through, uh, I want to say, advising others using your words. Right. Computing. Um, maybe this is you being account accountant. Right. An astrologer. Uh, dealing with the media, doctors, healing, healing fields, right? Because Virgo is the rules, the sixth house of being of service to others, right? Some of them, some people could be like an organizational type of person because Virgo is all about analytics, right? So if you have Virgo ruling this area of your chart, you could be one of those people who goes in and, you know, they, they clean other people's homes, you know, who are hoarders, right? Or they, they organize, you know, I came in and I organized their pantry. I organized you know, I came in and I did this organization for them. You know, people who do stuff like that, very much Virgos. Um, I say Virgos are the Martha Stewart's of the Zodiac. Party planners, 
you know, these people, I mean, can, can you think of party, you think of Leo, right? But Virgo is the organizer. They're the ones who put things together. They're really good at planning, organizing, because they're very good with details, right? Um, you're good at maybe advising others too, which is why some of you guys are really good with numbers, right? Accountants is here as well. Astrology, because analyzing is your thing. Okay. In the healing fields, taking care of others in some way, shape or form, you could be in some sort of a healing field as well. Okay. All righty. Libra, if your second house is ruled by Libra, uh, some fields of work where you may bring in money would be um, definitely lawyers, counselors, because Libra is really good at looking at both sides of a situation, right? Judges, uh, especially if your Venus is in the ninth house, right? Artists, you know, because Libra is creativity, right? Um, cosmetics, fashion, receptionists, advertising, right? And to, you're really good at maybe showing things, right? Because you have a creative way within you or about you. Interior decorating, right? So these are just some ways in which you may bring in money, okay? I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. Nope. And again, this again, this could be, you know, again, cosmetics, fashion, receptionist. I got all that. Okay. Scorpio, if your second house is ruled by Scorpio. So if your second house is ruled by Scorpio, you could make money through um, the occult, right? The police, research, surgeon, psychiatrist, forensics, metaphysics, liquids, insurance, Doctors or nurses, the reason it's doctors is because it's going within for the answers, right? Going underneath something. Uh, chemicals, drugs, okay? Uh, liquids. Um, but I'm going to say, too, those people who work for the hospital and they're the x-ray technician looking beneath something, behind something, right? They're um, the people who, you know, I want to say, that, you know, like an x-ray tech, an ultrasound person, something like that maybe very Scorpio because you're looking underneath something for the answer. Researchers would be really good here too. A psychiatrist, psychologist would be also good as well. All right. Um, a detective, Scorpio, uh, detectives as well. Did I have detectives written down? I should have. Uh, I have police, but it being a detective would be one. All right. Sagittarius is Sagittarius is ruling your second house of money. You may make money through the law, through religion, through banking and finance. I want to say, I, I'm not agreeing. I wrote this a long time ago. I'm not agreeing with banking and finance. I feel if you have Sagittarius here, you're more so making money, maybe through the law, maybe a judge, dealing with religion, right? Teaching, writing, or publishing is a thing, right? You could be dealing with clothes, imports and exports, right? And teaching in general. Um, yeah, and it, it, religion and spirituality is important here because, um, Sagittarius is very much about belief systems, right? And it's all about, you could make money doing something that's very outdoorsy. Maybe you own an outside outdoors resort, right? Um, that kind of would be real estate, but that's very Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius energy loves the outdoors. They love travel. Also, you can make money through long distance travel, right? So maybe, um, I don't know, maybe you're a stewardess or something like that. You know, a pilot could be seen by this, but especially if there's Uranus here or um, you have maybe other things going on in Aquarius, or Venus is in Aquarius or something like that. But uh, the ruler to this is Jupiter. You want to see where Jupiter is placed, um, but Sagittarius can have to do with foreign people from foreign lands. You could make money through imports and exports too. Dealing with uh, foreign foreign people from foreign lands is another way. Okay, Capricorn. If you have your second house ruler, the second house ruled by Capricorn. Okay, for you, you may make money um, building something from the ground up. Right, teaching. Right, being a builder, a contractor, real estate. Dealing with raw material extraction, such as processing, such as lumber or mining, right? Now, Capricorn has rules time. So if your second house is ruled by Capricorn, your career probably gets more solidified after 35. You may feel when you're younger, gosh, I have to work so damn hard to earn this money. And that's true. 
You want to look at where the depositor of Saturn is in your chart to figure out more information, right? But, you know, you could be making more money. Uh, your status could go up after 35. You're maybe more stable, more solid at that time, right? Let me see what else I have. You know, Capricorn also rules like the age people, um, death related. So maybe you're making money in a funeral home, nursing home could be too. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yes. You could be dealing with uh, estates, maybe estate planning or something like that. But Capricorn mostly is like builder or a teacher, right? So anyway, building something from the ground up. Let's see. Aquarius. Aquarius, if Aquarius is ruling your second house of earned income, you can make money being an advisor, being a consultant, philosopher, astrologer, engineer, com dealing with the internet. Uh, on computers, right? Making money through the computers, through the internet, inventor. You could even be a pilot. Aviation is very Aquarian. So, um, or you could even make um, money inventing something, you know, doing something very unusual or, you know, different. But I'm going to say if you have Uranus here, it's going to be maybe income is flowing ups and downs, you know, like it, it comes in and all of a sudden it, there's, there could be spells of, uh, you know, I want to say there's peaks and valleys with money, right? So all of a sudden it's gravy train, right? And all of a sudden it's sparse, right? So you may want to plan for that. Also, um, you're probably really good if you have Uranus in this area of your chart as well. Um, commission-based jobs could be very good for you. You may make more money with commission-based job, right? Uh, Aquarius 2, let me see what else do I have here. If I forgot anything, I just want to make sure I didn't. Uh, scientists could be here too. Lab techs dealing with electronics is another thing. Okay. All right. So if you have Pisces here, Pisces is ruling your second house of money. Um, you could be a doctor because wherever you have Pisces, you serve or suffer, right? So some of you could be doctors. Some of it could be marine related. Chemicals, oils, painters, hospitals, prisons. You could work for a hospital or a prison. Uh, this is also a, a thing of a psychiatrist or a psychologist, an artist, a designer. Dealing with entertainment and or charities are ways you could bring in money. And some of you with Pisces ruling the second house, you could be a little confused. Like, I'm not sure what I should bring in, how I should bring in money, you know. Uh, it could be a little confusing for you. You want to see where the re rulers to this is. You're looking at uh, Neptune is the ruler to Pisces and the co-ruler is Jupiter. You want to look at where those are deposited in the chart for more information. But I'm going to tell you, you know, you can also be a photographer dealing in movies, either making movies or in movies. Uh, pharmaceuticals rules this. Psychics rule this as well. Poets, right? You could be uh, doing something with spirituality or creativity to bring in your money. Uh, yeah, so some sometimes you could be a little bit confused. I'm not sure if I should do this or that, especially if Neptune's in the second house. You know, Neptune it adds a little bit of confusion. But if you look at the fields that I'm telling you, those apply, especially if Neptune's in that house too. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. And um, I'm going to go over again some of the rulerships, okay? So for Aries, you're looking at Mars. Where is Mars deposited, right? For Taurus, you're going to look at where Venus is deposited for more information. For Gemini, you want to look where Mercury is deposited in the chart for more information. Cancer, you want to see where the moon is deposited for more information. Leo, you're looking at where the sun is deposited for more information. Virgo, you want to know where Mercury is located for more information in your chart. And Libra, you want to see where Libra is deposited for more information. Scorpio, you want to see where Pluto is placed and also Mars, co-ruled by Mars. Sagittarius, you want to look at where Jupiter is placed. Capricorn, you want to see where Saturn is placed. Aquarius, you want to look where Uranus is placed and possibly Saturn. It's co-ruled by Aquarius. Pisces, you want to look at where, again, Jupiter and Neptune are placed, okay? For more information, I hope this was a little bit helpful. I'm going to give you some other information. Let's look at Venus, okay? 
where is Venus placed in your chart? It's going to give you so much information. Now, you may have to go rewind this video a little bit when I do Venus, okay? Because Venus, I'm going to give you some stuff about the houses, right? So if Venus, okay, I'm going to just show this. Okay, let's say Venus is in, I'm going to do this, first house. Uh, Okay, let's say Venus is in the first house, right? If Venus, let me just add this. Hold on. I'm sorry. Is in the first house, right? All right. If Venus is in the first house, you may make money through self-employment. Now, if it's in Aries or a Taurus, you're going to look it back at those other videos in the beginning of the video and watch what it's, read what it says for Taurus or um, whatever sign. Okay. So that's going to apply here too. So for the first house of, Ven of Venus, you could be self-employed. You could deal with politics or the public at large or dealing with the physical body or like a health, health, fitness, health club, right? Um, yes, you could be an entrepreneur if Venus is in the first house of self. Um, you know, depending on the sign it's in, right? But Venus is in the first house. You're making your own money here, right? All right, let me edit this. Okay, now, if Venus is in the second house, right? If Venus is in the second house, you may make money through banking, through investments, through accountants, restaurants, teaching, consultants, because restaurants, because second house is what you put in your mouth, right? Uh, all right teaching consultants psychologists and writing um let me see what else i wrote this a long long time ago i'm gonna tell you i feel banking is a good one uh, maybe with restaurants is a good one it's what you put in your mouth um investing investing could, to me is more eighth house though uh, let me see consultants I feel if you have your Venus in the second house, yeah, it could be investments because it could be, you know, property too. Um, you could be also making money through something. I, I agree. I think it could be banking, you know, uh, I don't feel... I think it's banking mostly, and I also feel it could be making um, like a restaurant or something like this, investing in something, right? Second house could also be, can be accountants, you know? That's what I have. Okay, so now if you're making your month, like if you have um, your Venus, again, I wrote this a long time ago, in the third house, okay, if you have a third house Venus, you can make money through communication, um, through advertising, through publishing something, through webinars, seminars, putting yourself out there, right? Um, through short distance travel trips like Uber, Uber Eats or whatever you do. You're driving people here and there very short distances, right? You can make money those that way. Sales. Uh, you can make money being in advertising, right? All of these things are uh, ways in which you could make money or you can make money maybe selling vehicles. Third house is vehicles and it's also sales, right? Um, you could make money possibly, depending on the sign it's in, um, doing something with your hands because the third house is the natural ruler for Gemini. Could it be doing something with your hands? Could be. Third house is also you could make money with your sibling or neighbor, right? Um, is a way you could be bringing in money. Okay. All right. So now, oops, let me just change this to the fourth. Now we're going to go to the fourth house. If your Venus is in your fourth house, of, um, you could make money through agriculture, through building uh, trades, real estate. Um, I want to see you through family too. Like maybe you have a family business or something like this, right? So, or you could make money from home or through family, right? I want to say uh, real estate is a thing too. All right. So there you go for the fourth house. Now, if you have your Venus in the fifth house, 
You may make money um, through politics, through stockbrokers, through um, children, you know, through entertainment. You can make money through doing something in the entertainment field. Um, you can make money through a creative project, right? Um, yes. So Venus, fifth house, I'm trying to think more. Create a project, making money, doing something for kids, doing something creative, um, you know. Politics is a fifth house too, I would say. So that's kind of what I feel for the fifth house, okay? Because it's the natural ruler for Leo. You can also make a hobby, doing something that was like a hobby, and all of a sudden it turns into a business. Something like that can happen with uh, fifth house Venus, okay? Or you can even make money uh, working, let's say you have a business with your children or something like that too. That could be it too. All right, so let's say that you have Venus in the sixth house, right? You could make money through being of serve doing in that health related professions, you know, or the service related pr professions, because it's the natural ruler for Virgo, right? So you may make money through, um, you know, service related, like the police, the fire department, something like that. Um, you know, health related fields, like a therapy's o a, like a doctor's office, a therapy place, you know, um, dealing with serving people food or a waiter, something like this. Something of service, it could be medical, it could just be food, it could be, you know, dealing with firefighting, police, something like that. And uh, yeah, so I want to say, I'm trying to think, the sixth house could also be like, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I feel like, I think depends on the house and the, and the sign it's in as well. There's, there's an element of being analytical and detail-oriented here because sixth house can be that. It's the natural home for Virgo. So keep that in mind. You could do something on an analytical level too. All right, so if you have your Venus in the seventh house where you may make money um, would be maybe you're making money with a partner or through your partner. You have a business partner. Uh, or personal partner, right? Um, you may make money through business, through trade, through merchant, through, uh, you know, selling to other people, right? And this could be even a lawyer, right? So if you have your v Venus in the seventh house, you make money through other people's relationships. Maybe you're a divorce lawyer or something like this, or you're a counselor, something like that. You could make money, Okay. All right, so if you have, and you can also have a, making money through others, like a business partnership, right? All right, so that's a thing. Okay, so if you have your eighth, uh, Venus in the eighth house, right? Venus in the eighth house, you may make money through uh, insurance, banking, uh, metaphysics, the uh, sex industry is a thing. Just saying you could make money there. You may make money through the insurance field, uh, research, death related. You can not only metaphysics, banking, um, you may make money through a partner's income too. You could, a partner's income could benefit from you just being in their life. You know, um, you could get money through investments, you know, maybe through loans, investments, um, you know, maybe you're really good at investing with eighth house Venus, right? You could be, let me think what else, uh, bill collecting, you know, dealing with other people's resources, handling other people's funds. That could be a thing with Venus in the eighth house banking, dealing with again, other people's money, other people's resources, investing could be investing for yourself or maybe through others, right? Insurance. Let me see. What else am I not missing here? You could be a sex therapist here with Venus in the eighth house. Metaphysics. All of these things could apply. Okay. Now, if you have your Venus in the ninth house, if you have your Venus in the ninth house, you could make money through law, being a judge or a lawyer, uh, university teaching, law, higher education teaching, right? You can make money through travel, long distance travel, religious professions, for dealing with foreign people from foreign lands, right? 
teaching, writing, and or publishing fields are the ninth house. Okay? Okay. If you have your Venus in the tenth house, okay, um, if you have your Venus in the tenth house, you may make money through a government job, dealing with the public at large and the masses, right? Um, managers, right? This, again, could be politics. But let me see if I missed anything here. You could make money through hmm, your status in some way, shape, or form, your title in life. Let me see what I got here. Let me see. Just making sure I didn't forget anything. You know, you know, if you have Venus in the 10th house, Venus softens what it touches. So this is a really good planet. It's a benefic planet, especially to have in your 10th house, which is very, very nice. But here it would mean... All right. Oh, I see. I see, I see, said the blind man. You know... Can you be a builder? Um, I don't think so. You know, you could you make money in real estate here? You could because it's the natural home for Capricorn, right? So I don't know. I feel like Venus in the 10th house, you may make money here doing something creative too. Uh, and you could be known for it. Your status, like you could be known for something that you're doing that is quite creative, you know? So yeah, dealing with others, the masses will know you, right? You could be, uh, whatever you're doing, it could be very creative here or something. Like, I think creativity would be huge. Um, you know, I put government jobs here, but I'll be honest with you. I think Venus in the 10th, um, I think that's more the sun. If you have your sun in the 10th, especially. But Venus could be, you're, you could be publicly known for something that you're doing that is very creative or beautiful. You could be known for like a being beautiful. You could be known for like having a beautiful voice or being a beautiful artist that you're going to get maybe some sort of public recognition in your lifetime with Venus in the 10th house. There's some sort of recognition here because it's the highest point of your chart. You know, um, Venus has to do with uh, the art, beauty, music, entertainment, you know, and so the fact that it's at the highest point of the chart, I feel that this would be, you would get recognition from the masses for this. Okay. All right. So, all right. So if you have your Venus in the 11th house, right? 11th house. Well, for you, if your Venus in the 11th, you could make money through uh, group work, like maybe you work for uh, an online organization, or maybe you work for, you know, 11th house is also the internet, right? Because it's the natural ruler for Aquarius. You can make money through a group, an organization, or going into business with a friend, right? Um, you know, this could be dealing with groups, right? So maybe you make money through, you're involved in some uh, group work in some way, shape, or form. You know, so like through the internet, maybe like it's through YouTube, you know, I'm a YouTuber and you're, you're part of a group, but you're doing your own thing in that group and you can make money or get clients or something like that. Right. So, um, again, the 11th house does rule the internet. Okay. It's very Aquarian. So, alrighty. So let me see what else. Um, if you have your Venus in 12th house, what does this mean? Whoa. So if you have your Venus in the, the, the 12th house, you could maybe um, make money through jobs requiring secrecy, hospitals, prisons, charities, advocacy, right? Jails even. Um, but, you know, you could be making money through some sort of behind the scenes way or very secretive way right? To bring in money. Um, and maybe what your, your the, the way your job is, um, maybe it requires secrecy in some way. Maybe it requires, you know, privacy or respecting another's personal information, 
right? But on a side note, Venus in the 12th house when it comes to love. I mean, you may be very private about money and secretive about money or your love life. Um, be careful of falling in love with unavailable types with Venus in the 12th because that could be a thing. You know, I'm in love with somebody who's really never around, right? Or physically or emotionally not available could be the 12th house, Venus, right? But again, you could make money through secretive ways. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Giving you a little bit of information. I know right now the economy sucks. And hopefully this helps in some way. Um, either you do something for yourself or try to cultivate something on your own. And uh, anyway... I hope this was useful to you. Anyway, I will talk to you soon. And uh, if you want a personal reading for me, again, I'm going to explain this right now and let you know it's just not your second house. It's just not where your Venus is. It's a lot more than that. So you want to also look at the depositor of this. Like, so let's say your Venus is in the eighth house, right? And it's in Aries. You want to look at where you have Mars in your chart, right? So wherever you have Mars in your chart is going to give you more information on where you may make money. So when we do a reading, I, I look at your second house and I look at all the planets that are in that second house. And I look at those planets that are in that second house, what house they rule, right? I also look at the ruler to the second house and see where that planet resides, I look at your sixth house and I do the same thing and your 10th house on the pinnacle of your career. And I look at all of it. And then I look at your Venus and it tells me a story too. And let me just tell you, not everyone, there's not just one job and say, oh, you're meant to do just specifically this in your life. That's not true. Because a lot of times what we will do is we will have many jobs in our lifetime throughout our life. Not everyone has the same job for 40 years like they did years ago, you know. Everyone, you know, maybe you were here 10 years or you're here 12 years or whatever it is. And then you shift. Everybody's different, right? Not a, We're all snowflakes. But I'm just letting you know that in, you know, in astrology, you're going to probably have more than one career that fits with you. And I'll give you an example. My Venus is conjunct the sun and it's in the eighth house and it is uh, in Aries. So where have I made money in my lifetime, right? I was always a go-getter, you know, like I'm not really one to sit on my ass. So um, in my lifetime, I have worked for a government. Venus was conjunct the sun, right? Um, I worked as contracted through the government on a federal contract collecting federal funds for Department of Education on federally defaulted loans. That's what I did as a bill collector, right? for years. And then um, I worked in banking for years. I did, you know, I started out really young as a teller and then I went to loans and then I went to commercial loans and then I went to the Brinks room and then I did commercial banking and then, you know, all of that. And then I did mortgages for a while, which I hated that. It just sucked. I just, I don't know. And I know that eighth house, that's like maybe where I should have been, but <laughs> It was like, that was in the, what, in the 90s um, when they had the housing crisis situation. It was just, they, they said, you know, the 125% program was out and people borrowed more than their home. Anyway, it was a refined frenzy. And I don't know, I just hated that job. It was sucked. So <laughs> anyway, but my chart shows I would make money through banking, right? Majorly. And then... um you know, and then I did bill collecting for a long time after that, right? And then I went into, I was always interest, interested in astrology, right? And metaphysics and all of this, all my life, right? And then I started really studying a lot more when I had the loss of my parents. And then um, I studied and studied and studied. And then I became a fanatic and I studied like, like crazy. And um, so eighth house is also metaphysics. And in Aries, you could be entrepreneurial, you know, it was so weird. And the universe will tell you when you're meant to work for yourself because, you know, it, it was back in 2008 and, you know, everything that we had, uh, the economy sucked at that time. And it was really hard to get a bill collecting job. And the Department of Education, um, I don't remember, I just remember they were doing, well, the place that I worked, were taking people's commission checks and not paying them out the way they're supposed to. 
Um, so that was a thing. And a lot of people left and I, they recently lost their contract. But back then I went and I worked for another credit card place. And I remember like, it was just weird stuff happening. Like, I'm like, what the hell's going on with this place? There was a lot of uh, crap going on too with, people being paid not the right amounts and um, the way that their commission structure was set up, it was kind of Mickey mouse. And then they're not wanting to pay you what, you know, and, and I think, and then they, uh, I worked for another place. I worked for another, I can't believe my daughter's interrupting me when I'm trying to record. She knows better. I worked for another place um, wanting to teach them collecting on the federal contract for department of ed. Right. So I was going to train people. And then I said, yeah, just give me my offer letter in writing as to what I'm supposed to do and how much I'm going to make. And they wouldn't put it in writing. And I'm thinking what they wanted me to do is train them and let me go. I was, I was finding so many shady things. And I'm like, why am I constantly meeting these people who are like really shady? And it's because when you find that you're working for places and it keeps this keeps happening to you. Universe is kind of telling you you need to do something on your own. You know? So, um, yeah. But I did, I'll be honest, uh, for a long time, I liked that job. It was, it was a nice job. I made friends. And, you know, it was a little bit stressful. I'm not going to lie. Um, but was it a good job? Yes, it was. It was good until they started messing with commissions. And not only was the company that I worked for messing with commissions, but also other places were doing it too. And I'm thinking because the economy was sucking at that time. And this was back in 08, you know, and it was really hard. And I'm like, it was a combination of things, but I think Universal was also showing me, okay, you're going to need to do something on your own. You know, and then I started, uh, I actually went to a party, honestly. I went to a party and I was doing astrology readings for people just for fun. Like I was just kind of like, oh, I, you know, and somebody said, why don't you do this for work? I'm like, what? <laughs> you can't do this for work. And I'm uh, like, how am I going to make money in this? You know? So I did, I signed up on a site and I started taking clients and yeah, but it was weird because I was at this party and then I was taking, like talking to one person about their chart and I looked at it in my phone and had an app and I would, tell them about what I saw and then the next person would come and the next person would come and it like the whole party I was working really. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was fine, but it, it, it was a real a light bulb moment to me that, wow, maybe other people would want to, you know, to, to do this. And that's what I did. And it turned out good. <laughs> so anyway, look at your chart and we look at not just the second house, but a lot of the, house. but the second house is huge as to where you may bring in money. You also want to look at the 10th house and do the ex exercise I had you do with the second house and do that same exercise with the 10th house and the sixth house. The sixth house is your work and day-to-day -day activities, your work environment, right? So if you have Aquarius ruling your sixth house, that would be a lot of ups and downs with the work environment. Or maybe your work environment is you working on the internet all day long. Mine's mine's an Aquarius and I'm online all day long. <laughs> it's crazy. But also you can't plan your day. It's like, man, there's always, see how Ava interrupted me? There's always unexpected things that happen in your day with that placement. But it's good to know, like if, you know, um, you just want to look at uh, the sign that rules your sixth house environment. The planets that are in there gives you more information on like what kind of environment you deal with on a work and day-to-day -day basis. Your pinnacle of your career, what sign is in that, right? So what field do you think you would be in the pinnacle of your career, right? So you're looking at all these things and then you look at Venus and you look at the ruler to where Venus is placed in. All of these things may matter. So you could look at a chart and say, okay, possibly this field, this field, this field. And when I look at my Venus eighth house, I've done some of those careers already, right? So, you know, and I look at my second house and what it talks about, you know, my second house ruler is Virgo. So I do advise, you know, I am using my voice to make money. Mercury, you know, you're using your intellect, you're teaching uh, writing. Okay. Advising people, uh, you know, uh, Mercury can also be a clerk, right? So I was a clerk when I was very, very young, 16. Um, but you know, so anyway, you just want to look at all of that. Um, 
and I again I Virgo is astrology uh you know advising computers you know and it, I was also an advisor at that other company too because you know we were advising okay this is what you need to pay this is what you, options they have available for you blah 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 you know and uh all of that so anyway you you have more than one career that's for you is my point but you kind of have to put your chart together like a puzzle <laughs> it's gonna it's if you like this kind of thing it's interesting if not you can have somebody do it for you if you want me to do it for you, you can go to my website and you can book that no problem but um I'm going to tell you, too, if you are in a financial snafu and you're like, what the hell's going on? Things are shifting. Things are changing. Look at your solar return and figure out what you need to do to shift with the times. So let's say your solar return is different than your second house is totally a different sign. You really want to pay attention to that for that year, for the year of your birthday to your next birthday. That's going to be huge. So I always tell people when you're doing this reading, not only look at your natal chart, but look at your solar return as well. And if you want me to do a solar return reading on you, what I do is I look at what's happening in your life for that particular year that we're in. And um, from the, the birthday to the next birthday, and we look at money, all kinds of things. So anyway, if that interests you, that's also on the website. Links are below. I love you. I hope this was helpful. And leave me comments. Let me know if this was helpful, if what you would like different or what you want to see in the future. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.